everybody, so welcome to another Mixed Ability Level video. We are using our weights, so if you have your weights, grab them. If not, please again use some tins of beans or bottles of water. Let's get going. So we'll start with our feet hip width apart and parallel, arms by our sides, stand nice and tall, nice and neutral in your spine and your pelvis, and we'll begin with an inhale into the sides of your ribcage. And exhale. And again, inhale. And exhale. Now, on the next inhale, just go into a next circle. So you're going to inhale for one circle. And exhale for your second circle. Do two more. Inhale. And exhale. Just nice and go in the opposite direction. So you're inhaling for one circle. And exhale. Lovely, we'll go for two more, inhale, and exhale. Okay, then slowly bring your head to the centre, bring your feet slightly wider than hip width, and we'll go into our side boots. So you inhale, take your arms up to the ceiling as you exhale, you'll reach into the side. Go as far as you can, keep that pelvis still, take an inhale to hold, and then exhale, restack that spine, and lower your arm down. Alternate side, so you inhale, exhale, reach to the side, take an inhale to hold, and then exhale, restack your spine, lower your arm down. We'll go for four more. Take an inhale, exhale, restack your spine and lower your arm down. Three more. Okay, take an inhale, exhale, restack your spine and lower your arm. Last two. Okay, make sure you're nice and facing forwards. So you're not rotating, you're staying in that lateral plane, last one. So you're just side bending, take an inhale, exhale, restack your spine, lower your arm down. Okay, you're going to inhale, bring your arms up to the ceiling, exhale, clasp your hands behind your head. And you're just going to inhale, really shrug those shoulders up, exhale, release. We'll go for two, inhale. And exhale, three, four, five, six, seven, and last one, inhale, and exhale. Keep your hands behind your head, you're going into a rotation. Look down at the floor and then draw a circle with your head, your neck, your upper spine. So you're going into and around the world. Come round to the other side and then face me. So keep your hips and your pelvis still, rotate. Look down, circle your head, your neck, your spine all the way round to the other side. And then face me, we'll do two more. Circle all the way round to the other side. Face me and last one, rotate, look down. Draw that circle with your head, your neck, your upper spine. Really feel that rotation and then face me again. Take an inhale, bring your arms up to the ceiling, look up, lean back, feel the extension in your upper body. Exhale, circle your arms round and then come back to your start position. That's nice. So you're going to grab those weights 
that you have. I'm using 1.5 kg, feel free to go a bit lighter or heavier. And we're going to start with some tiptoe. So have your feet hip width apart. You're going to tiptoe, bring your arms forward, lower them, and then come back onto your heels. Okay, so just really move with control. Just be careful you don't fall forwards. I felt like I was about to fall forwards there. Lift your arms lower, then lower your heels down. Tiptoe, bring your arms up, and then lower your heels down. We'll go for five. Just breathe naturally. Four. I keep feeling like I'm about to fall. Three. Two more. Tip. So. And lower. And last one. Tip. So bring your arms forward. Lower your arms down. And then lower your heels down. Nuts. We're going into some squats. So you inhale, squat down. Exhale up and add a shoulder press. For two. Okay, so you want to inhale to squat down. Exhale up with that shoulder press. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Two more, inhale and exhale, and last one, exhale, shoulder press, then bring your arms down by your side to keep your feet hip width apart, you're going to go into your dumb waiter, so your palms are facing upwards, you've got your elbows touching your waist, then take your arms out to the side, inhale and exhale for two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And on your last one, you're opening your arms out to the side. So you're rotating really from the shoulder joint. There you're going to lengthen your arms away and then bring them back. For two. Three, harder than it looks. Stay nice and controlled. Four, maintain that neutral spine, neutral pelvis. Five. Six. Seven, if you have heavier weights than mine, eight, two more, and last one, take your arms out to the side, bring your arms back to the start position, then lower your arms down, that's nice, and we will finish off with some curtsy lunges, so you're going to take one leg behind the other, come down, and up to your start position. So you can inhale down and exhale up. Alternate side for three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. And last one. Inhale. Then exhale up. Okay, you can put your weights down just for a second. We're going into some waist twists. So bring your arms into that Cossack position. Have your arms roughly in line with your breastbone. Take an inhale. As you exhale, go into your waist twist. So really twist as far as you can. And then 
inhale, come back to the middle. Keep your pelvis nice and still. Exhale, waist just to the other side. Inhale, come back to the middle. We'll go for four more. Exhale. Inhale, come back to the middle. Three more. Exhale. Inhale, come back to the middle. Last two. And inhale. Last one. Exhale. And inhale, come to the middle. As you exhale, just bring your arms by your side. We are grabbing our weights again. So it's only one more exercise. Keep your feet together. We're going to stand on one leg. So you inhale, stand on one leg. Exhale, lower. Keep your back nice and neutral. Alternate sides. Inhale, so make sure you're not leaning back. And exhale. We'll go for eight. Seven. Six. Five.
into that C curve. So we're just traveling through flexion and extension. You inhale, exhale, go into that extension. So you're into your extended cat or in yoga, we call it the cow, I think. Inhale, exhale, go into your cat stretch, into that C curve. Take an inhale to hold. Exhale, go into your extension. We'll do one more. Inhale. Exhale, go into that C curve. Take an inhale to hold. Take an inhale to hold and exhale, travel through your neutral, go into that extension, take an inhale, inhale and exhale, come back to your four point meter. So you're back in your, extent, in your neutral, so you're back in your neutral and your hands and your knees and we'll go into our tabletop. So you're sliding one leg along the mat. You then lift your opposite arm and leg, lower that arm and that leg and slide your leg back in. Okay, we'll alternate side, slide your other leg away, lift your opposite arm and leg, lower and slide that leg back in. We'll go for four and then slide that leg back in, three more. So really make sure you're not dipping, okay? So stay nice and neutral in your spine. Two more, slide that leg away. Lift your opposite arm and leg. Lower and slide that leg back in. And last one. Okay, going to lift, lower and slide that leg back in. That's nice. Just come up onto your knees for a second. Circle those wrists because we are doing just one more exercise in your four point kneeling, so if you need to, just give those wrists a little break. Nice, okay, we are going back into our four point kneeling. We are going into that tabletop position. So you're lifting your opposite arm and leg, and this time as you inhale, you're going to bring your knee and your elbow together. So you inhale, then exhale, lengthen. But two, really move with control and exhale. Three, inhale and exhale. Two more, inhale and exhale. And last one, exhale, lengthen your arm and leg. Lower your arm and your leg down and slide that leg back in. Okay, we will do that to the other side. <clears throat> so you're going to slide your opposite leg away, lift your opposite arm and leg, and we're bringing our knee and our elbow together. You inhale and exhale for two, three. And last one, inhale and exhale. That's nice, lower your arm and your leg, slide your leg back in and come into a child's pose. So sit on your heels, stretch your arms, give your wrists another circle. Take an inhale and exhale, well done. And again, inhale and exhale. And last one, inhale and exhale. Restack your spine, come all the way up to sit. And so your neck and your head come up last. We are going to come into our seated position. So if you bend your legs in front of you, Sorry, bring your feet in front of you, you bend your legs, your feet are on the mat. Lean back slightly, have your hands so that your fingers are pointed out to the sides. Try and sit nice and neutral so 
avoid slouching, it's quite hard in this position. And we're going into some single knee folds. So you're going to inhale, come into a knee fold and exhale, lower. Alternate sides, inhale and exhale. Your range of movement might be slightly reduced just because you're trying hard to maintain that neutral spine. Okay, so keeping your back still. So you could do this, but then you're not keeping your upper body still. So your range of movement is reduced, but that's fine. That's the aim. We'll go for eight, seven, six, five, I may also be slouching a little too. And last one, inhale and exhale. Nice, we're staying in this position and we'll just go into some 10 reverse planks. So you inhale to re reverse plank up and exhale lower. So nine, inhale and exhale. Eight, nice, seven, sat nice and tall, make not slouching, you're going to take an inhale, as you exhale, curve your spine and roll yourself all the way down to your mat, so really curve, come down slowly, bone by bone, okay, let your neck and your head come down last, take your arms up and over, we'll have a stretch here, inhale and exhale, and we'll come up to sit and inhale, bring your arms up to the ceiling, lift your head, your neck, and as you exhale, you're rolling yourself up to sit and really keep those feet on the floor. That's lovely, curve your spine, then sit nice and tall, we'll do that one more time, inhale, exhale, come all the way down to the mat. You probably noticed this exercise appears regularly in my videos. I just think it's really important to do this one regularly. Inhale, bring your arms up to the ceiling. Lift your head, your neck, and as you exhale, you're rolling yourself all the way up. Touch your toes and sit nice and tall. Next one's our last one. We're not coming back up, so really take your time with this one. You're going to inhale. As you exhale, you're coming down for one last time. So come down slowly, make this one your slowest one. Bone by bone, nice and controlled. Take your arms up and over. Inhale and exhale. We'll do one more, inhale and exhale. Bring your arms by your sides and then turn yourself round. So we're lying on our front. Okay, so if you turn your feet out, have your feet slightly wider than hip width, your toes are pointed outwards, you're lying on your front, your arms are bent, and you have your hands roughly in line with your head. Okay, my arms are just outside, my hands are just outside of my mat. It's just, that's what works for me, but if you can, you can place your hands just inside of the mat. For me, I prefer to have them outside. You're resting your forehead on the mat. We'll go into our cobra. So you take an inhale to prepare. As you exhale, you're slowly extending your head, your neck, your upper back. Okay, we'll stick with our baby cobra for the first one. Take an inhale. And then exhale, slowly lower your head down to your stand position. And again, inhale, 
Exhale, slowly extend your head, your neck, your upper back. Take an inhale to hold and exhale, lower. We'll do three more. Inhale, exhale. This time you're going into your full cobra. So as you go into your lower back, let your arms lengthen, your hips extend. Take an inhale, then exhale. Slowly bring yourself down to your sat position. Two more. Inhale. Exhale, extend your head, your neck, your upper back. Go into your lower back, let your arms lengthen, extend at the hips. Take an inhale to hold and exhale, lower. And the next one's your last one. So you inhale, you exhale, go into that extension. Okay, if you can, look up to the ceiling. Just be careful with your lower back. So if you have lower back issues, make sure you continue looking down at the mat. Take an inhale. And then as you exhale, just slowly bring yourself down to your start position. Come down bone by bone. Let your neck and your head come down last. Nice. Okay, if you now bend your arms, so that your arms are in front of you, you can rest your forehead on your hands. We're going into some prone circles. So you're going to lift one leg up and you're circling from your hip joint. So you want to keep that body as still as possible. You want to inhale and exhale. We'll do three more inhale. And exhale. And last one, inhale. Then go in the opposite direction, exhale. And inhale. Four more, exhale. And inhale. As you can see, I'm really trying to keep my body as still as possible. I'm just lifting, circling from the hip joints. And then lower that leg down. We'll do the same with our other leg. So you're lifting that leg up. Keep your leg as straight as possible. And begin your circles. So you inhale for one circle. And then exhale. Four more. Inhale. And exhale. Last two, inhale and exhale. Go in the opposite direction for six, five, four, three, two, and last one. Then lower that leg down to your mat. You're going to take an inhale. As you exhale, bring yourself up into that child's pose. So you're going to sit on your heels, stretch yourself forwards, curve your spine. Take an inhale here. And exhale. And again, inhale, really curve that spine. Exhale. And last one, inhale. Then as you exhale, you're wheeling yourself back to your seated position. So you're curving your spine and you're sitting up nice and tall. You want your neck and your head to come up last. That's lovely, everyone. And we'll do that one more time. So you inhale, bring myself forward slightly. <laughs> and as you exhale, roll forwards. Come back into that child's pose. Okay, so really curve your spine, stretch those arms, take an inhale, and as you exhale, you're restacking your spine, bringing yourself all the way up to sitting, so come up slowly, bone, 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 let your neck and your head come up last. 
and we'll just end with some arm circles okay so you can stay in this position you're going to inhale bring your arms up to the ceiling and then exhale circle your arms round okay so you're just going to stay in this seated position okay so you are going to inhale bring your arms up to the ceiling exhale circle them round nice for two inhale and exhale three two more inhale and exhale and last one inhale bring your arms up to the ceiling look up lean back exhale circle your arms round and come back to your neutral and you're finished well done thank you so much for joining me see you next time